Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Mike, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a website using AI, artificial intelligence. It's been super popular all over the media lately with ChatGPT, and in this video, I'll be showing you not just one tool, but rather many tools to automate a lot of the website building process, from building the website, to writing uh, articles and sections on the website, to even making graphics for your website and SEO, and moving on from that as well. There's plenty of tools, and so if you are a complete beginner and you're making your first website, this is a full tutorial, so I'll show you how to make a website using the tools we have in this video. But if you already have a website, I still recommend sticking through this video because I'll be talking about a lot of different tools that can make you more efficient, that can make your website better, that can give you more ideas, and otherwise just improve the quality of your website. So keep in mind throughout this video that the objective here is to make a website with as little of your own effort as possible, really leveraging AI to do all the heavy lifting for you, and on top of that, replace the task that you'd otherwise hire someone else to do, for example, copywriting, uh, writing entire blog posts, maybe uh, Im generating images and graphic design work, or at the very least, this should be saving you time so that you don't have to learn how to do that and spend your own time doing that. So with that being said, there is a lot to cover in this video. I'll have timestamps down below. And in addition to that, sometimes I have a tendency to speak quickly. If I speak too fast or too slow for you, there are speed controls on YouTube. So with that being said, let's head over to my laptop. The first thing we want to do is go to santrellmedia.com slash Wix, or you can copy and paste the link in the top of the description, or you could just click on the link in the top of the description as well. And that should take you to a page that looks something like this. Now we're gonna be using Wix to make this because there are a lot of tools out there to make websites, but Wix is really the most AI friendly from my experience. They have AI tools built in, they have AI website builders like full generation built in, and they partner really well with a lot of different apps out there that are heavily utilizing artificial intelligence. So we're gonna start off by typing in my email address, then I'll make a password and sign up. And of course we're creating the website for myself or my own business. And now it wants to know what kind of website we are creating. Now here I recommend being as specific as possible. If you're making, for example, uh, a coffee subscription online store, don't just say online store. It's better to type in coffee, coffee online store, and you'll see online coffee shop. That's kind of similar to what we want, coffee subscription box. There it is, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now you won't always find exactly what you're looking for, but the closer you get, the less work you have in the future, I highly recommend doing it like this. So now we're gonna say next, and Wix should be walking us through this. What is the name of our store? We're gonna call this Mike's, Mike loves coffee. We're gonna say next again. And it's gonna ask if we're selling anything. So uh, I'm ready to start selling. I don't have anything. Or maybe, you know what, maybe I'm just thinking about it. You could say whatever you want there. The answers to this little portion are just going to help the AI make your website, but it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, and you can change everything later on. It's, Wix is very, very customizable. So how many products do you have? Let's open with maybe two or three products. So we'll say two to nine there. Okay, so we want to run this with sales tax, shipping labels, email marketing, product subscriptions. It is a subscription box, of course. And uh, mobile app would be nice as well. And we don't need Facebook and Instagram ads just yet. We can add that later on. So I'm gonna say next. And we're just running the store, just myself right now. And now it's gonna ask what we want to add to our website. So uh, yeah, online store, definitely. The chat, I mean, if you're not gonna be responsive, I might even remove the chat. But again, it is kind of nice to have that. You can automate a lot and, and get you know better conversions. So I recommend leaving that on. Pricing plans, not really important. Uh, but down here, let's see what else we want. We definitely, I do want a blog that's gonna help drive traffic to the site. And in addition to that, maybe we want an Instagram feed. Even though we're not running Instagram ads, I may still want to incorporate my Instagram and drum up some traffic on social media. And I think that's just about it for now. So we're gonna say next. And now we're ready for the next step. So we can continue setting up our store in the dashboard. If I click on go to dashboard. Now there are two ways to make a website with Wix. Now I'm gonna go through here and add a product and the payment methods and all that other stuff. But first, I wanna show you the two ways to design your website because not everybody's going to be selling. Maybe you have a portfolio website. Maybe you have, you know, whatever it is, anything that doesn't sell. You won't have the same checklist here. We all have a slightly different checklist. And so I'm going to say design site right now. And this should lead you to two different options. Either let Wix create it for you. That's the AI website builder. It's a fundamental website. So it's not gonna be super fleshed out, but it is going to be pretty, you know, pretty much what you want based on what you said you wanted in your website or you could look at some other templates. So, uh, you know, it, 
depending on the website, I've done either one. They both do a great job. The template really lets you look at it early on and figure out what style you like best, whereas the one where Wix creates it for you, let's actually go through with that one. I'm gonna follow through with this one right now because this video is about AI making websites for us, and, and this is the first way that you could do that where it, Wix is actually making the website for you. So let's add our logo right now. I'm gonna click at email, address, social accounts. I'm gonna add a social link right now. So we're gonna say Mike O'Brien, and we can add Twitter as well. And usually it's just Instagram.com slash, and then whatever your handle is, that's the easiest way to find your Instagram. And then it wants to know what theme we like. So look at the color and look at the font here. And out of these, I think retro probably, either retro or minimal would make the most sense for me. I, I like clean as well. Um, I'm gonna go with retro. We're gonna go with retro for this one. And this is what I was saying. You have fewer options when you're working with the AI generator here. They'll give you three options here. But the truth is, if you're trying to make a website quickly, this is a great way to do it. The AI basically makes the whole website for you and it's based on exactly what you want. So if you scroll with any of these, I can just kind of hover over them and scroll with my mouse and you can see this one looks pretty good. This actually looks like basically exactly what I want. Now you can change any of these. I'm gonna go with this one for now. We're gonna say next. And then in a minute, I'll show you the templates just so you can kind of gauge which one makes the most sense for you. And we can choose which pages we want to add as well. So yeah, I wanna have policies for like shipping and returns. I want to have our process for, you know, people understand how the subscription box actually works. I want, sure, our story, make it a little bit more relatable. FAQs, contact, eh, show a lot of FAQs in there and we'll say next. And just like that, Wix is using their software to make our entire website for us. So if we go to the editor now, we can go and see what our website looks like. And like I said, it's usually very fundamental. There's not a lot on here because you will be adding your own images rather than having a template that has images there that you delete and then put back. There's a lot of blank space. So we're gonna put a picture down here. Uh, we're gonna be swapping out these little icons for our own images, our own text and stuff like that. But the good news is AI is going to do a lot of that for us. But there you go. So that that's the first step right here. Um, I'm gonna go back to Wix, go to the dashboard on the top left. We're gonna talk about how to make the website, but just really quickly, I wanna show you the other option. If you didn't go with the generator right there and you wanted to look at templates, I wanna show you what those templates actually look like. So if we go to create new site, or at least I can do this and you guys don't have to, you could choose, remember that little two-step option in the beginning, we can choose what we want. So this is based on a, so let's just say, Coffee subscription box, we'll say next. Mike loves coffee, number two. Okay, and here we are back at that little fork of begin with template or get a custom Wix built website. Let's go to begin with the template. Now you can see the templates here. For example, they already have one that is a coffee subscription and you can go to view this and you can see that you'll start off with this exact website as your starting point if you like it. So scrolling through this, like, yeah, it already looks really good. I actually like this little video in the background. I like this little three-step thing they put there, the subscribe button, super easy. And so maybe you would prefer to do this instead of use that generator. I know that I personally definitely prefer this. So that's why I wanted to show you both in this video because by default, Wix does recommend their builder, but I think that this does a better job. So I'm gonna go to edit site. And now we're gonna move on to the second tool in this video of actually using the AI text generator, which is something built into Wix altogether. Okay, so it doesn't matter at this point if you started off with the generator and you have a website that looks like this, or if you have a template that looks like this, you'll, everything in the remainder of this video is going to be exactly the same. I'm gonna roll with the template because that looks better for what I'm trying to do, but with your own website, maybe you wanna try both or even check out other templates and find the one that makes the most sense for you. Now, the next step is to actually understand the interface here. So I wanna give you a quick little tour, layout of the land here. In the middle, we have, of course, our website. It's not interactive right now. This is actually going to be a kind of an editor mode so I can click and move things around. I won't be able to actually click on the links on the website if I want to do that on the top right, there is a preview button. If you click on that, it'll bring you into a new page where you have the website, or actually it's in the same page. The, the website is actually fully interactive now. I can click on buttons and it'll navigate around the website and I can see how things actually work. So let's go back to the editor, click on back to editor. All right, and now we're back to the editor. But you'll notice that I clicked on a button when I was in preview mode and I went to a different page. So if you wanna switch between, between your pages, like I said, it's not interactive. You can't click up here and do that. Instead, you go to the top left. You click on this drop down, and we can go back to the home page. 
Now within this, we have right across this bar, you can see desktop mode right here. This is what your website would look like from somebody viewing on a desktop. We also have mobile mode as well. So if you click on that, this is what it'll look like if somebody goes to your website on their phone. I'll say skip this, you don't need that little thing right there. And then of course, let's go back to desktop. We will be connecting our domain in just a second. We have the undo and the redo button. If you make mistakes, obviously that's a really useful tool. And of course the zoom, if you wanna see things, you can zoom out to 50% uh, and kinda lets you see the whole website in, in a zoomed out view or you can go all the way in to what a, a user would actually see your website as. So I usually do a lot of the early editing in zoomed out mode so I can kind of move sections around and do things like that. Above that, we have of course the save button. You wanna save this as much as possible. When you're done, of course, publishing your website is going to be right there. And going back to the left side, uh, these options, we're not gonna go through like help, hire professional and dev mode, not super important when you're getting started. But we do have some settings, of course, like I said, connecting your domain is the next step to do. And we have some site settings here where you can go to preview, basically all the stuff over here, but it's just available here as well. So preview, uh, publishes right there, create a new site. Hopefully you're not doing that, but if you wanted to, if you didn't like this and you wanted to start over, that's where you'd go right there. So let's go over to settings and go to connect domain. Uh, and that's gonna be really the first step so you can start building this website. Wix is free to use and they have a lot of great free tools, but if you wanna actually use the website, like just pretty much at all, like if you want to sell anything on there, if you want it to not have banners on there that say this is a free Wix website, like basically if you want to be serious and professional, like I always recommend upgrading anyways. So we're gonna start off by going to connect your own customized domain. We'll say save and continue. And that should walk us to this right here. We're gonna say get a new domain name. And that'll bring us into a lot of numbers, a big chart, but don't worry, going through these, there are many different plans and depending on what you're looking to do, I'll kind of explain which the best ones would be. So enterprise, if you're huge, that's great. Contact them, request a call. Um, it'd be great if you used my link. I'd really appreciate that. But that's really probably not the people watching this video. We have business and e-commerce plans. So if you're selling a lot of stuff, there are some benefits for accepting payments, and selling in other locations. So I recommend checking this out if you are doing any kind of e-commerce or there's just regular website plans. If you're a portfolio, if you're just getting started, these are some good options here. And scrolling down, there's a lot of things that in the beginning, you probably don't really need some of these other things down here. You probably don't need a ton of storage space or video hours for a lot of beginning websites. But going through these, you can see Combo gets you that custom domain. It gets you a free domain for an entire year. You don't have the Wix branding, and that's pretty much all you get out of that. So it's, it's a regular website, pretty basic. And for a lot of people, like if you're a local photographer or something like that, just a little freelancer, that could definitely get the job done. $16 a month is pretty affordable as well. If you have a team of more than just you, then you'd wanna to go to at least unlimited so you have some collaborators on there. And then of course there's Pro, which as you can see, gives you a lot more. But since I'm actually looking to sell a coffee subscription box, I'm gonna go over to business and e-commerce plans. I'm gonna go with the business unlimited so that it gives me the analytics. Where is that? Right there, analytics, come with the business unlimited. I'm gonna select that one and I'm going to pay for one year. It's cheaper if you pay for a year. All right, now we can choose our domain and this is free to use. Now Wix does have, of course, the ability to buy a domain directly from them, or you can go to, in a new tab, uh, domains.google.com and you can look up other domains. This is usually where I start. I think Google has a good, it does a good job, in my opinion, of finding domains and, and showing you a price and, and other options if yours is not available. So if I say Mike, Mike loves coffee.com, type that in, we'll say get it, It'll tell me it is available, but if for some reason that wasn't available, so if we just say like mike.com, which absolutely is not available, it'll tell me, you know, maybe mike.store, mike.art, m.tech, like it gives you a lot of different ideas uh, and you can kind of go through all different endings that might be available for this and find something that is good for you. Now I think .com is probably the one that you'd want to go with. So fortunately here, mikelovescoffee.com is in fact available. So while you could buy it through Google, it's $12 per year. We actually get a free domain for a year with Wix. So I'm just gonna utilize that anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna say Mike loves, Mike loves, Mike loves coffee search. And that is available. We're gonna say get it. And that'll automatically, like the reason I like doing it directly through Wix or whoever I make the website with is because it just makes it so much easier. Like the domain will automatically be linked to this. You don't have to worry about, you know, pointing DNS and stuff like that. It's just a lot easier to do it like this. So I'm gonna go with one year 
uh, which is zero dollars anyway. And then you can pay an extra $10 per year for private registration. That's usually what I do. I recommend doing that. So there we go. We have a domain. It's connected to our website. They're trying to upsell us on an email, which I, I highly recommend doing, but not right now. And so we can actually go to publish or we can go down to uh, see other domains. I'm going to click on publish right here and that will publish our website. So it is formally on that domain. Our website is, is ready to go in its current state, but of course it's not. So let's click on publish. It's not actually like done. Like obviously this is not our website. It, it's a bunch of other text that doesn't make sense. So that brings me into again, back to this dashboard. So going down the left side of this dashboard on the top, we have add elements. So let's, let's zoom back out here. Everything here is a bunch of little elements in sections. That's the easiest way to think of a Wix website. So when I hover over something, the entire purple area is one section. So this is all one section. This is all one section. And each section can have a different background. It can have a different size. And there's different benefits, like different number of columns, things like that, which is why they use what's called a section layout for the website build here. And within each section, you have a lot of different little elements. So if I want to edit, say, for example, this section, there are a lot of different elements within that section. So if we click on that, actually, we have to go into 100%. So if we zoom in, you can see all these little things are different elements. So we've got a text one there, we have an icon or vector art there, we have a button down here, we have a container box that everything is in. And with any one of them, you can click on it, and you can start editing it. You see the little menu box above that, you can change the text, change the layout, design, and we'll talk about all of this throughout the video. But that's what I was talking about with elements. These are all elements, and if we want to add more elements, we can click on the plus, and you can see we've got images, buttons, strips, decorative stuff, all these different things, and so hover over anyone you want, and if we want a button, you can very simply click and drag the button over anywhere you want. So I can drop that right here, we can say shop, and there we go. Now we have a button right there. Now if you want this button to of course, as you saw right there, if you want it to line up with other things, you can kind of move it until you see those lines appear. Right there is where I want it, so it's lined up with the other button, and we can change things from there. Going over to the left side, again, so we have add elements. Below that, we can add entire sections. I already showed you this one. We have pages and menu, so that's going to edit everything on the top. We'll talk, we'll talk more about that in a minute. We have site design. This is the color scheme. This is the background. This is some really fundamental stuff here. We can add apps, which of course I said, artificial intelligence is going to be a key part of this video. So I'll talk about some great AI, AI apps we can use in a minute. There's my business, there's media, that's where you upload all your content, uh, content manager, again, other things down here. And we have marketing and SEO. So let's close out of all of that. And now I wanna show you the next AI tool that we can use. So we just have a dummy text paragraph right here. If I double click on that paragraph, I can retype whatever I want there or I can click on this button that says create AI text, which is exactly what we want. We want AI, artificial intelligence, to write this for us. It'll save us time, it'll save us effort, and it'll add a nice little paragraph in there. So we can choose, okay, business name, yes, that's correct. Uh, the business type, this is coffee, um, coffee subscription, coffee subscription website. We're looking for a paragraph, not a title. And the topic of this is going to be, yes, it's an about us one, but you could write paragraphs anywhere else about your services, about projects, about uh, people on your team, stuff like that. We're gonna say about, because that's obviously what this is. And anything important that we want this to mention, uh, we should say all organic coffee, fair trade. Okay, so we just say kind of like a couple things of what we think we wanted to add. We say create text, and it'll give us a couple options for some different paragraphs we can input uh, or we can select to be right there. So again, kind of a nice little tool so you don't have to write a lot of things and, and kind of sit there and think like, what do I want it to say? And, and especially if you're not even a good writer, this is a great tool to have. So reading through these, you can see uh, which one do we want. I think, uh, trying to read through these, I think this one looks pretty good. Yeah, so let's say use text. And there we go, we have a nice little paragraph that's about us. So we can use that, I think that's good. So we'll close out of this. And that's a great way to have some text added into your website. Now we're gonna go through more of the tools in a minute, but while we're on the topic of this little AI text generation, this is not the only way to generate text for a website. Instead, there's another tool that you probably have already heard of. So remember how I said before that the idea here was to spend as little of your own effort as possible? Well, the next tool can really add to this a lot. So we have our website pretty much fully designed. We just have to go in and change the images. 
We'll talk about that in a minute. Then we do have a way to get text that we really don't have to write. We tell it what it's going to be about. It generates a bunch of different text. We put that in. Now the third tool I wanna to show you in this video does pretty much all of the above. It really does a lot. So if you have questions about how to use Wix, it'll answer them. If you want to write longer uh, articles, if you wanna write longer pieces of text, you can do that as well in this next tool. And it's great for, for example, uh, checking your text. You can just put a paragraph in and say, how can I optimize this? Or what can I change about this? And the fourth thing it can do, of course, among many, many others, but the fourth one is generate ideas, which is a huge one, generating ideas for different blog articles, different products you could sell, different, a lot of different things you could do from marketing strategies to anything else. Now, this is none other than ChatGPT. If we type in chat.openai.com, it'll take us to a tool called ChatGPT, which is super popular, and we're gonna sign up. This is free to use. We're gonna sign up. So we'll just type in my email address, and then we make a password. Then you have to verify your email, so go to your inbox, click on the link, and it'll bring you to this page here. So let's start off with generating some ideas on ChatGPT. So let's just say generate uh, 10 different cat, uh, names for coffee subscription box packages. Okay, so these are good ones. We can have like the brew box, the bean bliss, the, the caffeine crate, the Java Jive. These are like different products that we could possibly be selling as different options on our on our website. So that that's just one example of how you could use this. Now we could say, um, now generate, we could say generate 30 blog post ideas that might get a lot of traffic for a coffee subscription box website. And this is gonna give us a lot of good ideas. So maybe like top five coffee trends. It could be, you know, whatever you want. You can ask it to elaborate on a lot of these as well. And I'll show you that as soon as it's done generating all 30 of them. But this does a lot. This is like hours of you thinking and, and brainstorming ideas that this piece of software, this AI can just write for you in a matter of 30 seconds to maybe a minute. Now, something to keep in mind is that this doesn't have access to the internet. So if you ask it about current events or something like very, very new, this hasn't actually been trained since 2021, but it has a you know really wide sweeping uh, base of knowledge that you can use. So for example, if we want to maybe elaborate on one of the articles, let's say number four, let's say the history and evolution of coffee, um, please create an outline for number four. It'll make an outline based on that right there because it remembers what it said before. It kind of keeps it as like a conversation. That's why it's called chat GPT. And so it's going to give you a nice outline of what that article could actually look like, which means that you have very little work you have to do. You can just go and write this based on the outline that they already made. Or you can use this, but you can do some of the writing. Now please write um, section one of that outline. So we can have it write the entire section, like one section at a time, the entire introduction section for that. And it, it'll be able to write like that, that essential blog post. So when you're writing blogs, you can really see how this becomes an incredibly powerful tool to generate ideas, give you more information, kind of help you with the research aspect of things. And then on top of that, even start fleshing things out for you all together. Or you can go and say, um, maybe if we wanted not to, okay, Wix does a great job here, but let's just say we wanted something longer than this. So we can double click on this and we can copy this, so let's go and copy this, and we can go over to ChatGPT and say, lengthen this paragraph, and then put a colon, and then paste it, hit enter, and it's essentially going to take that entire paragraph and just kind of add more fluff and make it bigger and make it a longer paragraph that you can fill more space on your website with if that is what you're looking to do. Similarly, it could condense things, it could translate to different languages, there's a lot that it can do. So there we go. Now I have an entire video showing you 10 different ways to use ChatGPT, 10 different prompts on how to really optimize them to get the most out of it. I recommend watching that video next, but it's time that we move on from this. Of course, this is great for filling out the content on our website, but going back to our website, when you actually fill out that content, I showed you how to kind of add that text in here, but it is also really important that you do more than just add the text, but rather format the text as well. So if we click on edit text after we highlight that, you'll see that we can highlight anything. So if we say roasted to perfection, we can just click on this little chain link icon. That will add a link right there and we can link to a different page on our website. We can link to a document, an email, a phone number. There's a lot of different things you can link to, which again, Wix is very powerful and makes this very easy and accessible. But let's just say we wanna to link to a section or an anchor. You might wonder, 
how do I link to another section on here and, and what is an anchor? Well, let me show you real quick. So if we close out of this and we go back to, uh, let's scroll down here and say we want it to go to this section right here. We're gonna talk about fair trade, for example. We can go and click on the plus, add elements, and down here, you should see menu and anchor. Now, if we can click on anchor, you'll see there's just one thing. There's no design for it because nobody actually sees an anchor. But we can click and drag it to right here. We wanna put it right between the two of them and that's an anchor. Now we're gonna call this, we're just gonna name this one, we're gonna call it trade. We're just gonna name it trade like that and we can close out of this. So this one's called trade, that's an anchor. And what we want is when somebody clicks on this link that we're gonna put in our text up here, we want it to scroll down to right here. So let's go up to that paragraph and we could say fair trade, it says fair trade right there. So if we highlight that, we can click on the chain, this will add a link and we can add that, add that to um, a section or an anchor and we want this to go down to this page and the section is actually going to be an anchor titled trade. So we can say done, we're gonna say done. And once again, don't forget, you should always be saving your website. We're gonna click on save again. And now we can say done there. We'll close out of that. We'll go to preview. And now we should have a link on fair trade. So this is our website. We scroll down, we're reading, we're some visitor. Click on fair trade. And just like that, it scrolls down to this section right here. So it's really a powerful tool that makes your website a lot more professional. Let's go back to editor. And that's why I always like showing that in these tutorials. Of course, you can mess around and figure out a lot of the other elements, of course, text and images and, and buttons. A lot of them are very self-explanatory where you see them. And so, for example, a button, click and just drag that in as I showed you before. But if you wanna get rid of something, you can just simply click on it. So click and drag or wherever, click delete or backspace and that will get rid of that on your display. In addition to that, if we want to change anything about any one of these, of course you have that little menu there. So if we wanna change this image, we can swap it out for any other image we want, which brings me into the next AI tool in this video, which is actually Canva. Now, Canva is a free tool, once again, but you could pay to upgrade if you want, and you don't necessarily have to, but it does a lot more than just the manual make it yourself kind of tool that it's always been. Now, it also has a lot of AI built into it. So if we go into a new tab, and we go to uh, Santrell Media, santrellmedia.com slash Canva. And again, I'll have a link to this in the description as well. That'll bring us over to Canva. And from here, we can sign up, the purple button on the top right, we'll click sign up. And you can sign up in a lot of different ways, easily to use like, you can really easily use your Microsoft or Facebook account, or you can go and sign up with your own email. That's what I'm gonna do, except I already have my own account, so I'm gonna open a new tab and show you my account. All right, so here we are on Canva, and just a quick rundown, you can use this to make images not only for your website, uh, you can also use it to make a logo, you can make letter headers, social media stuff, presentations, there's really endless options with what you can do on Canva, and the easiest way to choose what you wanna make is actually just to type it into the search bar. So if I want to make, um, let's just say we're gonna make just some graphics, so it's probably similar to like an Instagram post. I'm gonna say Instagram post square. That's about the size I would want anyway. Maybe I will use, I'll end up sharing this on Instagram later if we make an Instagram for this website or for this brand. And so Instagram post template, you can go down and find one that makes sense. But once again, I forgot to do this. We should have searched something more specific. So we could say coffee, coffee, Instagram, coffee, Instagram post, see what we find. And there we go. There's a lot of different posts related to coffee and maybe we want something uh, like this, you know, something pretty simple, pretty straightforward, just a little image like that. So we can customize this template. You click on customize this template. It'll bring you into an editor. And from here, as you might expect, once again, we have elements on the left side. You can click and drag anything in and change it just like that. And, you know, again, I have a full tutorial on how to use Canva, but really the tool I wanted to show you here is the AI tool. And so if you go down to apps, you should see something called text to image, or you could just search text to image text to image and it'll show up right here. It's this one right here. So if we click on that, that is already built into Canva and we can type out what we want. So we could say a dog drinking hot coffee in, uh, in a, a quaint, in a quaint coffee shop. I don't know, something like that and see what it comes up with. And it, it, it does a pretty decent job, not always. We don't know what it's gonna come up with here, but it comes up with you know four different images you can choose from. And so maybe like this is the, maybe this is good. Maybe this is what you want. And this was generated by AI. So this is like a completely new image right here that you can then use. So I'm gonna go and get rid of that. We don't need that. We can delete all this other stuff that we don't want on here. And maybe that's like, that's the image we want right there. But you can add text, you can add a lot of other things, or you can just have it keep creating until you find the image that you actually want. Keep adjusting your, your text, keep adjusting things until you find the perfect thing.
Now, some of them are not that good. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Does he have a straw or what? What is going on there? Yeah, so some of them are not great. I have no idea like what's going on there, but you get the idea. It's a good way to like make different images that might be useful for your website. And when you're done, when you, when you decide you found one you liked, um, you can simply go to share and go to download and it'll download that um, as you know, a PNG or a JPEG or you know, whatever else you want. And then you can go and upload that into Wix. So let's actually just do that right now. And now back to Wix, if we go to change image, we can upload media, upload from our computer. And then down here, I believe I have it saved. There it is right there. That is an Instagram post essentially is like the size I was using that we can then use um, on our on our page right here. So there we go about us. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe it's not. It's not always going to be perfect. But it's another way to just kind of make some different graphics to get some different images that you won't find on the internet anywhere. And it's easy to make them on Canva and customize them. And like I said, using Canva's tools, you can add other you know shapes and text and things to that and use it for a plethora of different things besides just on your website. But certainly, it is a useful tool for using on your website. All right, so we've gone through a couple different things so far. Let's talk about one more tool that you can use uh, with your Wix website. So if we go on the left side down to, uh, where is it? Right there, apps, add apps. We have a Wix app market, which again is one of the reasons that we like to recommend Wix because there are so many different apps out there from Printful to PayPal to uh, Printify. Like there's a lot of really big brands that integrate very seamlessly within Wix. And it's not like a one off thing. Like this is clearly very heavily used with 2,800 reviews about the PayPal button. So this is something that people do use a lot on a lot of different websites. And you know, it is going to be reliable, especially the ones that are Wix business solutions. These are integrated really well. And so, you know, being made by Wix, they should work very flawlessly. But there are some different uh, plugins you can get. Obviously, a lot of these are starting to use more and more AI. So by the time you're watching this video, I, I would just recommend browsing through this and seeing which apps and plugins make the most sense for you. But you can also just search for AI if you just type in AI, and you'll find there are a lot of different ones out there, some related to SEO, for example. So if you click on this one, you can add it to your site, you'll get a little pop up, we'll say agree and add, and then it'll take us over to actually how to do this. So this I believe does two different things, the SEO one, which by the way, SEO stands for search engine optimization. It's how you it's basically how you optimize your website. So Google can figure out what your website is and rank it accordingly. And then that way, when somebody searches for coffee subscription boxes, my website will show up near the top and I'll be getting substantially more traffic than I otherwise would at no cost to me. So let's go to the dashboard. And from here, we can say open. And now you can see that we have a couple options. We can add alt text, which is essentially text that describes what your images are. And that's going to be, again, useful for Google to identify what your images are, because you add a little like, you know, a couple words below the image that nobody actually sees. And then there's the AI title and description generator. So when you search anything on Google, so if I just type in, if I go to Google and look up like coffee, coffee subscription, you'll see that for each item that shows up, there's a title right here. And below that, there's a short description. Now you don't want this to be auto generated, you want this to be something that is really optimized for your website that can drive more conversions, because some people do actually read that. And you want it to be related to what your page is. And again, all of that ties into optimizing for the search engines, so you can rank higher in Google. So these two tools are super helpful. Um, there are many other ones out there. But like I said, going into the App Store, that's really where you're going to find all of the AI tools that can integrate with this. But those are five that I wanted to recommend in this video on how to make your Wix website. Uh, of course, there is a lot more to know about Wix. So I recommend kind of playing around with it a little bit right now, and then head over to my full Wix tutorial in that video, which I have linked like right up above and in the description below, I dive much deeper into e commerce on Wix, into blogging on Wix, into more advanced, intricate features that I highly recommend you use when you're making your website. But this hopefully was an introduction to using artificial intelligence for your website. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. If you have any other AI tools, definitely do leave them in the comment section below. I'm Michael Bryan with Santral Media. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.